Hi, and thanks for joining for the class today. So today we're going to do a fairly gentle pace class aimed to work throughout the body. We're going to do a range of exercises, starting in standing with a nice gentle warm up, and then come down into four point kneeling onto our backs and onto our sides as well today. So remember, always work to a level that you feel comfortable with because most importantly, we want you to enjoy the class. Okay, so when you're ready, let's get started. Okay, so let's get started. So we're going to bring our toes apart and those heels apart. So those feet at that hip width distance. Just to start with, we're going to transfer that weight coming to the front of your toes and then back onto your heels. So just nice and slowly forwards and back, just looking to find that midpoint between those two movements. So that weight's going nice and evenly down through those feet. Good. Knees are nice and soft, so not locked back. Hands up onto your pelvis very gently. We're going to tilt that pelvis forward and then tilting it back. So just nice and slowly forwards and back. Just looking to find that midpoint between those two movements. So that power's in that nice and neutral position. Good. Ribs are soft, collarbones wide, and that neck nice and long and lifted. Well done. Okay, so we're gonna start here just moving through our feet and ankles with our toe walking. So come up onto your heel on one side and we're gonna switch over. I want you to really think about keeping that pelvis nice and level so you're not kind of hitching. Keeping that level as we're moving through stretching through those ankles, stretching through those big toes as we're lifting and lowering those heels. Good, so moving through. Good, so often we get a little bit stiff into those big toes so we can just stretch that a little bit here. Okay, now let's see if we can go a little bit quicker. So we're gonna make that movement a little bit faster. Good, still breathing in and out. Well done, and then slowing it down again. Moving gently through. Well done. And then a little bit quicker again. Moving through. And then slowing it down. And then just lowering those feet back down. Well done. So we're gonna bring those elbows in towards our side, that neck nice and long. Breath in, as you breathe out, opening those hands out and then folding back. Good, so we're opening out through that chest and back. Lovely, opening out and back, well done, and again, opening out, and back, good. So we're gonna layer this a little bit, we're gonna open out, and on this next one, as we open out, we're gonna reach those hands away, and folding back, good, and again, opening out, reach away, and folding back, good, and again, opening out, reach away, and folding back, good, open out, reach away, and folding back, well done, and again, open out, reach away, and folding back. Good, now on this next one, we're gonna open out, come up on those toes as we reach away, and fold back, good. Open out, reach away, and folding back, well done, and again. Opening out, reach away, up on those toes, and folding back, good, and again. Opening out, reach away, up onto those toes, and folding back, and again. Opening out, reach away, and folding back. Good, last few, opening out, reach away, and fold back, well done. One last time, opening out, reach away, and folding back, well done, relax those arms down. Okay, so let's work our legs a little bit more here. So we're gonna have our feet still that hip width distance apart, and we're gonna drop down into a little squat, dropping back just as far as comfortable, just go as low as you can, comfortably drop down, lift up. So that bottom's going back behind you, that weight's back on your heels. So you're gonna drop down, lift up, and again, drop down, lift up. Now we're going to add a little leg lift to this movement. So we're going to drop down, lift up, right leg out to the side and back. Drop down, lift up, left leg out to the side and back. So it's not a big movement, we're just adding that leg lift, down, drop down, lift up, out the side and back. Good. Drop down, lift up, out the side and back. Well done. Drop down, lift up, out the side and back. Drop down, lift up, out the side and back. Well done. Drop down, lift up, out the side and back. Good. A few more here. Out the side and back. Drop down, lift up, out the side and back. Last few. Out the side and back. Drop down, lift up, out the side. Good. Drop down, lift up, out the side, back. Well done. And up, out the side. One more each side. Drop down. Lift up, out to the side, back. Drop down, lift up, out to the side and back. Well done, very good. It's warmed up through those legs. Okay, so let's just challenge our balance a little bit here. 
So we're gonna bring one leg just in front. Again, that leg you're standing on, keep that knee nice and soft. And we're gonna flex the hip, raise those hands up, and then lower back down. Good, and again, so we're lifting up and lowering. Well done, and again, lifting up and lower. And again, lift up and lower. Good, and again, lifting up and lower. Now on this next one, we're gonna lift up, hold that there if you can, bring these arms up and around in that circle, forwards and down. Well done, and again, lifting up, hold that position, reach the arms up and around in that circle, forwards and down. Good, and again, lifting up, reaching around in that circle, forwards and down. Well done, and again, raising up, reaching up and around in that circle, forwards and down. Well done, last couple here, reaching up, hold that there, up and around in that circle, forwards and down. One last time, lifting up, up and around in that circle, forwards and down. Well done, very good. Okay, let's bring the other leg just in front here. We'll do the same again. So just raising that leg, raising those hands up and down. Well done, and again. Lifting and lowering. Well done, and again. Lift up and lower. And again, lifting and lowering. Well done. Lift up and lower. Good. Now on this next one, as we did before, we're gonna lift up, hold that there. Bring those arms up and around in that circle, forwards and down. And again, lifting up, reaching around in that circle, forwards and down. Good, and again, raising up, reaching those arms around in that circle, forwards and down. Last few here, raising up, hold that position, coming around in that circle with those arms, and lower. Last couple, reaching up, coming up and around in that circle, forwards and down. One last time, reaching up, up and around in that circle, forwards and then down, well done. Okay, so we're gonna bring our feet a little bit wider out into that side plie. So toes just turned out just comfortably from there. And we're gonna just drop down into that little side plie and then back up. Good, and again, drop down and lift up. Well done, and again, drop down, lift up. Good, drop down, lift up. And again, drop down, lift up. Now we're gonna do one more here, drop down, lift up. Now on this next one, we're gonna drop down you're gonna hold that there, bring those hands into that prayer position here, and we're gonna rotate around to one side, and back, round to the other side, and back, and then lifting back up. Well done, let's see if we can do that again. So we're gonna drop down, rotating around, and back, other side, and back, and then lifting back up. One more time, we're gonna drop down, rotating around, and back, other side, and back, and then lifting back up. Well done, bring those arms down. So let's bring those feet back together. We're just gonna stretch through our sides a little bit here. So with one arm, I'm gonna imagine that I'm unzipping through my side. I'm gonna reach up, look up towards the ceiling with that hand, and then gently coming back down, good. Other hand down by your side as you unzipping through that side, reaching up, look up to the ceiling, and then gently back down, good, and again. Unzip through that side, looking up towards the ceiling, and then gently re-zipping back down. One more time. Unzip through that side, look up towards the ceiling, looking up, and then gently coming back down. Well done. Relax those shoulders. Okay, so let's just stretch out through our spines with some roll downs here. So we're gonna take a breath in. As you breathe out, tuck that chin down, rolling those hands slowly down towards the floor. Take a breath at the end there, and as you breathe out, slowly restacking gently back up into standing. Good. And again, breath in. As you breathe out, tuck that chin down, rolling those hands slowly down towards the floor. Take a breath at the end there. And as you breathe out, gently coming back up. Good. One more time, breath in. As you breathe out, tuck that chin down, rolling those hands slowly down towards the floor. Take a breath at the end there. And as you breathe out, gently coming back up. Good, so we're gonna to come to the end of my mat, and this time we're gonna roll down and come down into four-point kneading. So we're gonna take a breath in. As you breathe out, we're gonna tuck that chin down, rolling those hands slowly down towards the floor. Once you get to your end point, just soften your knees, and then we're gonna walk our hands down, 
and we're going to come down into our four point kneeling position and we're going to continue our class from here. Okay, so we're going to continue here into four point kneeling. So if you have those hands just in front of those shoulders there, those elbows nice and soft, those knees underneath those hips there. Okay, so let's just start with a gentle cat stretch just to move our backs. So we're going to tuck that head under, arch that back up, dropping down and gently extending through that spine. And again, tucking that head under, arching through that back, dropping down and gently extending. So just flexing and extending through that spine. Well done. Just gently mobilizing. And on this next one, just look to find that midpoint between those two movements. So in that nice neutral position, well done, those collarbones wide. And we're going to lengthen out through the body with our swimming movement. So take a breath in, as you breathe out, I want you to reach one leg just parallel with the floor and then fold back. Opposite side, reaching away, lengthening through and back. Good. So we're going to breathe out as we reach away, breathe in as you fold back. Breathing out as you reach away, breathe in as you fold back, well done. And again, breathe out, reach away, breathe in, fold back, well done. Now if you can, we can add in that opposite arm reach, so lengthen through the body and back. But you can see I'm still keeping my back nice and flat, it's not a huge lift. We're keeping that control as we lengthen away and back. So we're going to breathe out as we lengthen away, breathe in to fold back. Breathe out as you reach away. Breathe in to fold back. So just imagine you've got that tray of drinks in your back. You don't want it to spill, so I'm keeping that back still nice and level as I'm reaching opposite arm and leg. Remember, if it feels too much with the arm as well, just reach that leg away. Reaching away and back. Good, a few more here. Reach away and fold back. Well done. And again. And back. Good. Reaching away and folding back. Fold back, well done, and again. And back, lovely. And back. Well done. Reaching away, and back. Let's do one more each side. Reach away, folding back, last time. And then coming back to that start. Well done. Okay, so staying in this position, we're going to reach one leg away again. This time we need to lift that leg up and we're going to tap it over to the side. Then we're going to lift it up and over and tap it across the body. So lifting up and over, tap to the side, up and over, tap across the body. So we're kind of drawing that rainbow movement, tapping out to the side, up and over, tap across, up and over, tap to the side, up and over, tap and cross. So really working those bottom muscles. That leg that you're still on is really working hard to stabilize you. And the other leg is controlling that movement. Good, lifting up and over, tapping across, up and over. Well done. Moving gently through, tapping across the body, up and over, out to the side. Up and over and across, up and over, out to the side. Well done, last few. And up to the side, well done, one more time. Good, and across, lift that leg back up, and we're gonna fold that leg back in, well done. Okay, do the same with the other leg, so we're gonna reach that leg away, lifting it up, and we're gonna tap it across the body, and up and out to the side. So we're drawing that rainbow movement, tapping up and over, out to the side, up and over, and across, well done. So make sure they're reasonable size rainbows. So we're lifting up and over, lifting up and across. Well done. So drawing that rainbow in the air with that foot. Good. And again. Keep those elbows soft as well. Make sure we haven't locked those elbows out. We're keeping those soft as we're lifting up and over and out to the side. Well done. A few more here. Up and over and out to the side. Well done. And across. Up and over and out to the side. Well done. And again. And across. Up and over, out to the side. Last few here. Reaching out. Lift up and over and across. Well done. And let's do one more. And across. Up and out to the side. Well done. Lift that leg and fold it back in. Well done. Drop down. 
come into that child pose stretch very good so really work those bottoms hard so breathing in and out relaxing down into that stretch and again breath in and out relaxing down into that stretch there well done and again breath in and out relaxing down well done okay so we're going to work our upper body a little bit more here with some mini press so we're going to keep our hands in that position here just in front of those shoulders now we can either stay in this box position if that feels comfortable or if you can we can extend one leg and we're going to drop down into a little mini press and at the same time lift that leg if that feels too much though we can just drop down just in a press there so pick what's comfortable for you and we're going to do eight together so we're going to go eight seven six five four three two and one well done fold that leg back in do the same on the other side so we're going to either repeat that in a box position or we can stretch out the opposite leg and we're going to do another set together so here we go we're going to go eight seven six five four three two and one well done folding that leg back in well done let's drop down one more time you can either keep those hands in front or this time if you want to we can just relax those shoulders down by your side so just take a nice deep breath in and out here on the out breath if you can just sink down into that stretch just relax down through those shoulders well done breathing in and out well done one more time breath in and out relax it down very good okay so we're going to slowly come around and down onto our backs now so just coming around onto your backs on the mat good so we have our feet and knees that hip width distance apart here just to start with just tilt that pelvis forwards and back just looking to find that midpoint between those two movements so we're in that nice neutral position those ribs are soft collarbones wide and that neck nice and long and lifted from there well done okay so we're going to start by floating one leg up into tabletop and go into our scissors movement now keep this knee at that 90 degree angle and we're going to tap that foot down and lift up and then lower opposite leg lifted tap down back up and lower and again lifting up tap down back up and lower good and again lifting up tap down up and lower well done and again tap down lift up and lower well done tap down lift up and lower so we're going to keep alternating sides keeping that control as you're lowering that leg down lifting up tap down up and lower now if that feels comfortable there we can keep going or if you can we can float both legs up into double tabletop and we're going to tap down lift up again but if you start to feel that back's arching or your tummy's really bracing, then come back to that single leg. You can always mix and match, come back into that double leg. So just pick what feels comfortable for you. Good, so breathing out, breathe in, lift back up. Breathe out to lower, breathe in, lift up. Well done. Tapping down, lifting up. Very good. Tap down, lift up. Good, now if you want a little extra challenge for the last few, we can go a little bit quicker and breathe in for two and out for two. Breathe in and out. Just for the last few, breathing in and out. Well done, breathe in and out. One more breath in and out. And then coming back to that start, lower those legs one at a time, back to that start position. Well done. So feet and knees still that hip with distance apart arms relax down by your side we're going to go up into our bridge movement from here so we're going to take a breath in as you breathe out we're going to tuck that pelvis under lifting up into that bridge breath in here and as you breathe out slowly peel that spine gently back down onto the mat good and again breath in and as you breathe out tucking that pelvis under lifting up into that bridge breath in here and as you breathe out slowly 
walking that spine back down onto the mat good and again use those bottom muscles lifting up into that bridge keep that pelvis nice and level and then on the out breath just slowly lowering that spine back down onto the mat and again tucking the pelvis under lifting up good breath in here and as you breathe out gently lowering back down well done and again lifting up good and slowly lowering back down well done lifting up keep that pelvis nice and level breath in and as you breathe out gently walking back down well done last few here use those bottom muscles lifting up well done breath in and as you breathe out gently coming back down good last couple tucking that pelvis under use those bottom muscles to lift you up into that bridge breath in here and as you breathe out gently coming back down good let's do one more time tucking the pelvis under lifting up breath in here and as you breathe out slowly walking that spine back down well done let's bring those knees in one at a time have a nice little hug here so just breathing in and out on that out breath if you can just sink down into that stretch just that little bit further if you can breathing in and out well done and again breath in and out good and then we'll just lower those legs down one at a time back to that start okay so this time we're going to pop my hands behind my head here I'm going to raise one leg up into our tabletop position. So we're going to combine a little bit of abdo prep here. So we're going to take a breath in. As you breathe out, we need to lift that head into abdo prep. At the same time, stretch the leg away. Then we're going to lower that leg down straight, lift it back up, and then fold back and down together, and lower the head. Same leg, going to reach away. Hold the abdo prep, lower the leg down, up, and back. Well done. And again, reach away, lower down, up and back good and again reach away lower down up and back so we're holding the abdo prep as we're lowering the leg lifting up and back good let's do eight more here so we're gonna go eight good seven six five Holding back, lowering that leg back down. Well done. Let's do the same on the other side. So we're going to lift the other leg up into that tabletop. So we're going to lift that head into abdo prep at the same time, stretch that leg away, lower down, lift up and back. So if you can, we're going to breathe out, lowering the leg and breathe in, folding back. Breathing out as you're stretching away, lower and breathe in as you're lifting it back again. Well done, reach away, lower down, lift up and back. Well done. See if we can do eight more here. So we're gonna go eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, and one. Lowering that leg back down and bring those arms back down from there. Well done. Okay, so we're gonna combine our arms and our legs a little bit more here with our double leg stretch. So let's float our hands together up uh, to shoulder height and we're going to just start with our arms and we're going to bring our arms up and around in that big circle around and then back so breathe out as you're reaching above breathing as you come around and back good breathing out reaching around and slowly coming back up good and again reaching around and back 
good. So don't let those ribs flare, we're just taking those arms back and around, still keeping that connection between those ribs and those hip bones as we come around and back. Well done, one more here. Breathing out, breathing as you come around and back. Lovely. Now let's see if we can add in our leg movement. So float one leg up into tabletop. We're gonna take a breath in. As we breathe out, we're gonna reach our arms away and that leg away, and we're gonna fold them back round together. Good, lower the leg down, opposite leg lifted, reaching away together, folding back round. So it's one nice smooth movement. Reaching away and folding back together. Well done, opposite leg lifted. Breathing out, reach away, breathe in as you fold around and back. Good, and again. And around and back, lovely, well done. And again, lifting the leg, breathing out, reaching away, breathing in, come around and back. And again, breathing out, reaching away, breathing in, coming around and back. Well done, and again. Breathing out, reach away, breathing in, round and back. Well done, now if that feels comfortable there, we can bring both legs up into double tabletop. Do the same again, reaching one leg at a time, around and back together. Good, breathing out, reaching away, breathing in, fold around and back, well done. But if that feels too much with both legs lifted, just come back to that single leg, stretching away, well done, and back. Breathing out, coming around and back, lovely. And again, reaching away and back. Reaching away and folding back, lovely, and again. Reach away and back. Good, breathing out, reaching away, breathing in to fold back. Breathing out, reach away, breathe in to fold back. Well done, reaching away and fold back. Last few here. One more time. Reaching away and back, well done. Now we're gonna hold this position with those legs lifted if you can. If that feels too much with both lifted, just have both feet down like this. If you can, we'll keep them lifted and we're gonna come back around with just those arms. And as we come forward, we're gonna reach up into the abdo prep and then lower back down together. So come around and back. As you come forward with those arms, lift up into the abdo prep, reach for those feet and then lowering back down. And again, reaching around. Reach forwards and lowering back down. Well done. And again, coming around, reach forwards and down. So just bring the abdo prep in again, reaching forwards and lowering down. Good. And down. Now on this next one, if you can, we're going to come around, reach forwards, hold that there, and we do eight little pulses. So we're going to go eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, and lower that head down. Well done, lower those legs if they're lifted and lower those, those arms back down. Well done. Let's just bring those knees in, have a nice little hug and stretch that out from there. So just take a few nice deep breaths in and out. On the out breath if you can, just relax down into that stretch. Well done. Good, so lowering those feet down, we'll have a little bit more of a recovery stretch. So bring those arms down by your side or out to the side of you. Gonna drop those knees over to one side, turn your head to the opposite side if you can, and then we're gently coming back up and then over to that opposite side. So just gently rotating side to side from here. Drop those knees over, turn that head, gently rotating, coming back up and over to that opposite side. Good, and again, drop those knees over, turning that head coming back up and over to the opposite side. Well done, so just gently rotating side to side from here, opening out through that spine, feels really good to do. Just go as far as you feel comfortable. Doesn't matter if one side goes a little bit further than the other either, just go to where you can as you drop those knees over, turning that head, gently coming back up and over to that opposite side. Well done, and again, lifting up, dropping down, and back up, well done. Last one each side, gently coming back up, and over to the opposite side. And then bring those knees back up, bring those arms back down by your side, well done. 
Okay, so we're gonna come back up and around and come down onto our sides from here. So if you've got a thicker block or a pillow or a towel you're using just to support your head, if you grab that now, and we're gonna come down onto our sides here. So we're gonna start with those knees bent up, so feet and hips roughly in a line there, those hips are stacked on top of each other. And we're gonna go into our clam movement. So feet together, we're gonna to lift and lower through that top knee. So Keeping those feet together, we're gonna to push through those heels if you need to, lifting and lowering. Now we wanna feel it in that back pocket side area here. If you don't, we sometimes just need to bend or straighten those knees up a little bit more. So just tweak that if you need to. But otherwise we're gonna keep those hips stacked. Make sure they're not rolling back to cheat. We're gonna keep them stacked as we're lifting and lowering through that top knee. Well done, and again, lifting and lowering. And again, lifting and lowering. Well done, keeping those hips stacked and lifting and lowering. Well done, and again, lifting and lowering from there. Well done, good. Now if that feels comfortable there, we can stay there with those feet down, or if you can, we're gonna raise those feet up to hip height and we're gonna lift and lower through that top knee again. Lifting and lowering. Well done, keeping those hips stacked, lifting and lowering. Well done. Good, now if you can, we're gonna lift this top knee, keep it lifted, and we're gonna stretch and tap for eight. So we're gonna go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, well done, lower that knee down, lower those feet back down, well done, and drop that leg in front. Let's give that leg a little rest there. While we're resting through that top leg, we can lengthen that lower leg and just do a few little pulses of that inner thigh here, just while we're resting that top leg. So just breathing in and out, good. Breathing in and out, good. And again, breath in and out. Very good, and again, breathing in and out. Lovely, and then lowering that leg back down. Very good. Okay, so this time we're gonna straighten both legs out together, feet just in front there, so those hips are just slightly flexed. Hips are stacked on top of each other, and we're gonna go into our leg lift sideways. So with this top leg, we're gonna lift it up and out to the side, just as far as you're comfortable to go. So lifting up and lowering. And again, lifting and lowering. So if you can, we're gonna point the toes to lift up, flex the foot to lower. Point the toes to lift up, flex to lower. And again, point to lift up, flex to lower. Good, so we're lifting and lowering. Well done, point the toes to lift up, flex the foot to lower. Point to lift up, flex the foot to lower. Well done. And again, lifting and lowering. Well done, and again, lifting and lowering. Good, and down, well done. Lifting and lowering. So point those toes if you can, flexing to lower, point to lift up, flex to lower. Last view, and down, well done. Lifting and lowering. And let's do one last time if you can, lifting and lowering. Well done, let's bend those knees up, and give those muscles a little rest. So let's just keep those knees bent up, just rest those legs for a minute and we're gonna drop that block down onto the floor, our head at the front of it, arms out in front, and we're gonna lift up through this top arm, coming around and back into that arm opening stretch. Just looking around and back, that head just rolling on that block, just following that arm around and back, and then gently coming forwards, well done. And again, lifting up through that top arm, opening out around and back, just as far as comfortable and then coming back to that start, good. So but don't pull through your shoulder too much, bend the elbows you need to, following that head coming around and back, and then gently coming forwards, good. And again, lifting up. Opening around and back, and then gently coming forwards, good. And again, lifting up, opening around and back, and then gently forwards, good, and again. And forwards, well done. And again, lift up through that top arm, opening out, round and back, and then forwards. Okay, let's do one last time. Lift up through that top arm, rolling round and back, 
and then coming back to that start. Well done. Okay, so let's come up and over onto the other side to do the same again. So we're gonna come down, bring that block with us that we're using just to support your head there. We're gonna start with those knees bent up, those feet and hips rough in that line, those hips are stacked on top of each other, and we're gonna start with that clam movement. So we're gonna lift and lower through that top knee, keeping those hips stacked as we're lifting and lowering. Well done, and again, lifting and lowering. So keeping those hips stacked, well done, lifting and lowering through that top knee. Very good. And again, lifting and lowering. Well done, so remember you wanna make sure you're feeling it in that back pocket side area. If you don't, you can just adjust those feet slightly, bend or straighten those knees a little bit as we're lifting and lowering through that top knee. Well done, and again, and down. Well done, lifting and lowering. Okay, so keeping those hips stacked, if that feels comfortable there, we can carry on there or we can raise those feet up to hip height. We're gonna lift and lower again that top knee up, well done. Keeping those heels together, lifting and lowering. And again, lifting and lowering. Good, and if that's comfortable there, then we can lift this top knee. Little extra challenge, we're gonna do that eight stretch and tap. So we're gonna go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one well done lower those feet down lower those feet and drop that leg in front well done so drop this leg in front give it a little rest there have a stretch out while we're stretching this top leg we can lengthen through that lower leg and do a few little pulses of that inner thigh so just breathing in and out good and again breathing in and out good and again breath in and out, well done, just pulsing that leg, breath in, and out, good, breathing in, and out, good, one more time, breath in, and out, and then just lowering that leg back down, well done. Okay, so we're gonna straighten both legs out together as we did before, feet just in front of you here, hips stacked on top of each other, and we're gonna lift this top leg up and out to the side as far as comfortable and lower the leg down. So we're gonna lift up and lower. Now if you can, we're gonna point the toes to lift up, flex the foot to lower. Point the toes to lift up, flex the foot to lower. Point to lift up, flex the foot to lower. And again, lifting and lowering. Keeping those hips stacked, lifting and lowering. So point the toes to lift up, flex the foot to lower. Point to lift up, flex to lower. And down, well done. And again, point the toes to lift up, flex to lower. Point to lift up, flex to lower. So keep going here, lifting and lowering. Keeping those hips stacked, well done. Few more here, really kicking in those glute muscles, well done. Lifting and lowering. Lift up and lower, just as far as comfortable. Lifting and lowering. Last few here. Good. And let's do one more time. Lifting and lowering, well done. And then bend those knees up, give that muscle a little rest. All right, let's rest those legs there. We're gonna drop that block down to the floor as we did before. Head at the front of it, arms out in front. We're gonna lift up through this top arm. Coming around and back into that arm opening stretch, good. And then gently coming forwards, well done. Lift up through that top arm, opening out, coming around and back just as far as you feel comfortable. And then back to that start. And again, lift up through that top arm, opening out, coming around and back just as far as you feel comfortable. And then coming back to that start, well done. And again, lifting up, opening around and back and then back to that star. Lift up through that top arm, opening out, following that head, just rolling on that block, and then gently back. Good. Opening out through that chest, and then coming back to that star. Well done, and again. And back to that star. Lovely, last few here, lifting up, opening out, 
remember don't pull through your shoulder too much keep that elbow bent if you need to as I'm opening out around the back and then back to that start lovely one last time and then coming back to that start very good okay so we're going to pop the block to one side we're going to come around onto our backs and stretch out through our legs to cool down well done so onto your backs here feet and knees bent up in that position collarbone is still nice and wide just going to put one foot onto the opposite knee allow that leg just to relax open there if that's enough of a stretch then just stay there or if you can we're going to bring the other leg up in towards you just as far as you feel comfortable and we're going to hold this stretch here so just taking a few nice deep breaths in and out on that out breath if you can just relax that into that stretch that a little bit further if you can we're going to hold this stretch here so breathing in and out breathing in and out relaxing down into that stretch well done holding that there breath in and out good and again breathing in and out lovely and then just lowering that leg back down let's do the same on the other side opposite foot onto the other knee allow that leg just to relax open there if that's enough of a stretch then just stay there or if you can we can bring the other leg up in towards you just as far as you feel comfortable and then we're going to hold this stretch here so just breathing in and out on that out breath if you can just relaxing down into that stretch just that a little bit further if you can so we're holding that stretch well done breathing in and out good and again breath in and out relaxing down well done and again breathing in and out holding that stretch there well done good one more time breath in and out and then lowering that leg back down very good okay so we're going to stretch through the back of our leg now so knee up towards the ceiling lengthen out through the back of the leg use your hand just to support that leg there and we're going to take a breath in and out and hold that stretch so just holding that stretch there breathing in and out good and again breath in and out holding that stretch well done breathing in and out lovely and then if you can we're going to point and flex through the ankle here just changing that stretch slightly pointing and flexing through that movement well done pointing and flexing very good and then holding that stretch again there toes pointing up towards the ceiling lengthen out through the back of the leg well done and then just lowering that leg back down and we do the same on the other side knee up towards the ceiling lengthen out through the back of the leg feeling that stretch through the back of the leg there and we're just going to hold this stretch well done just lengthening through toes pointing up towards the ceiling and if you can we're going to point and flex through the ankle there well done gently moving through pointing and flexing well done moving gently through that movement very good and then holding that stretch again there toes pointing up towards the ceiling lengthen out through the back of the leg holding that stretch very good well done and then just lowering that leg back down well done so just in your own time we're going to come back up into sitting so just sitting comfortably either with your legs crossed or legs out in front whatever feels comfortable for you just relax those shoulders down from there we're just going to bring those hands together so just into that prayer position you're going to take your breath in as you breathe out you need to reach around to one side and then back to the middle round to the other side and back and then we're going to push those fingers reach up to the ceiling and then coming back down and rotating again round to the side and back other side and back then reach those hands, those fingers up and down. One more time, rotating around 
and back. Opposite side. And back. Then reach those fingers up. Then we're going to bring those arms nice and wide and come back down to that start position. Fantastic. Well done today. Thank you for joining me for the class. I hope you've enjoyed it and hopefully see you again soon.